The polar vortex has become quite a popular term over the last few years ever since it brought significant cold across parts of North America during the winter of 2014. Now, it may be a new addition to your vocabulary, but it's actually not something new at all. It's a persistent feature that we see up and towards the North and South Poles, where it's basically a swirling area of low pressure that contains some of the coldest temperatures on our planet. Now, during each season, it can kind of vary within strength, but during a strong polar vortex, we see the coldest air lost locked up and towards the north because it's contained within a single vortice. But during a weaker polar vortex, the temperature contrast between the North Pole and areas further south isn't as impressive, so we get a more meandering and weaker jet stream, and portions of the polar vortex begin to break off, and we get these multiple vortices swirling around, and occasionally they can dip further south. So it's actually quite interesting that when we get a weaker polar vortex, that's a very big signal for significant cold shots of air across parts of North America.